Hello once again and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining our Lunch and Learn entitled Discover Innovative Solutions that Accelerate Success in Financing Business. I'm Jason Almendez, the Marketing Manager of Axel Tech, and I will be your host today for InfoSoft Consulting Corporation. Before we get started, may we request to kindly put our camera on for a quick photo, please, so that you know we can get to know each other's faces. Picture lang po na tayo, everyone. So, good afternoon, sige. All right, thank you, thank you very much. So, you may turn off your camera or until the first video is presented. So, just a few house rules. Please put your mic on mute for smooth program flow to avoid background noises. You may also submit your questions to your respective sales consultant or by typing them into the chat box during the presentation. We'll collect and address them during the Q&A portion. Also, we will be recording the lunch and learn from the start until the end of the session. We will send the recorded version to your Outlook email once it's available. So please stick with us for the next hour to discover innovative solutions that accelerate success in financing business. As a quick overview of our interesting topics today, we will start with an ABP highlighting digital transformation. After that, we'll go directly into the following topics. Live from Kuala Lumpur, the Regional Channel Manager and Head of Business Development of Acumatica, Mr. Shine Matthews, followed by Financing Dimensions Demo by ICC Practice Lead, Ms. Sheena Canelao. After the presentation and demo, we will showcase the Acumatica with Financing Dimensions ABP. And lastly, we will entertain a handful of questions or clarification until time permits. Should there be more, we will answer them via email. So to optimize the time, the speakers will proceed right after the video. So it's going to be a full pack afternoon and I promise we will finish on time. So without further ado, let's begin. We in the continuing pursuit of helping our customers to achieve digital transformation at a conglomerate scale. At Axotech, we know how you want to be more efficient to save on cost and be more effective in serving your customers. Many industries belong to a group of companies or have very vertically integrated operations that seem to be multiple companies in one. Digitally transforming one company is not easy, but digitally transforming a group of companies to collaborate and operate well together is an even more significant challenge. This is what a typical conglomerate looks like. For example, the real estate development and construction industry, financing industry, the agro-industrial industry, distribution and retail, and asset-intensive industries like manufacturing infrastructure, utilities, and mining. If we look at this setup at a surface, they seem to be very different, with very diverse operations and production processes entirely unrelated to each other. However, we were able to identify three factors that are hindering digital transformation for conglomerates at the same source. The first factor that we discover is that usually less than 50% of the business processes of Asian conglomerates are supported by ERP systems. The obvious solution is to build the other half. The game plan delivers a micro industry specific functionality inside a cloud-based ERP, and we believe Acumatica is best suited for the challenge. Typically, ERP products support business processes, distribution, manufacturing, and construction companies quite well, covering about 80%. However, what about all these other companies? Based on our evaluation, most ERPs would still be able to do financials and inventory management, but that would probably be it. For example, the construction and real estate development industry group. We chose the best suited ERP platform we could find, and we built additional modules inside that ERP platform to address all the missing front office functionality. We made it natively in a very tightly integrated manner that our product module would only run inside the ERP platform. For this specific industry group, we call this product RED. RED stands for Real Estate Dimensions. What does RED do? RED provides all the functionality that a typical ERP wouldn't have, like property sales, property financing, commissions, and incentives. You also have property management, lease management, work order management, and maintenance management. All those front office functionalities that are usually not included in your typical ERP. We provided inside of Acumatico with real estate dimensions. We have added more products to address the three other industry groups 
since Red already has a property financing module, we took that out. We added more functionality to manage the financing company's front office operation, calling it FINE. FINE stands for Financing Dimensions. Axel Tech is also introducing other vertical products for industry-specific solutions like Facility and Asset Dimensions for industries like distribution, construction, manufacturing, and mining. Agriculture Dimensions for poultry, swine, plantation, and aquaculture operations. All these modules are all inside of Vacumatica. They're all native and they all talk to each other. You pay only for the modules that you use. For example, Find is composed of four modules, and if you only need one, you don't have to pay for the rest. In line with pricing structures, the second factor that we feel is hindering the digital transformation. Typically, less than 20% of the employees have access to the ERP system because of the per-user-based licensing structures commonly charged by the vendors. The obvious answer is to have a modern, growth-friendly licensing suited for conglomerates with many users. That is where Acumatica comes in. Acumatica is the only one of the major global ERP players that have no per-user fees. You don't pay for each user and only pay for your system's overall resource. All employees can now use your ERP system and digitally transform your organization. You can extend its use to your key partners, providers, suppliers, and customers. In a conglomerate setup, these key suppliers or customers are often members of a group of companies. What we are trying to accomplish is that you don't need to pay more for competing solutions with lesser functionality. Acumatica plus Axeltech's Dimension Portfolio. The Cloud ERP for Conglomerates. Through Acumatica, Axeltech offers industry-specific solutions called Dimensions. These are Acumatica with Real Estate Dimensions, Acumatica with Financing Dimensions, Acumatica with Facility Assets Dimensions, Acumatica with Agriculture Dimensions, Acumatica with PH Dimensions, These are very common modules typical companies should have. The third factor that hinders digital transformation is the outcome of the first two factors. When you don't have a complete set of functionalities, you usually need to buy additional system. It's costly to develop and maintain multiple application integrations. The solution would be to have a micro-industry specific functionality. When you need to do application integration, it might as well be on a future-proof platform with a modern API architecture. The Cloud ERP of Acumatica has that platform, and that is why we choose Acumatica. Because of their licensing and advanced technological platform, it's born in the cloud. This is an illustration of the expensive application integration currently being used. ERP, your traditional ERP system of record. Systems and operations software, if you have a back office supporting front system. Digital commerce, systems of innovation. This is how a typical financing company operates using multiple digital systems. You have a separate ERP system, CRM, loans management, Rapoa asset management, and payroll. Since multiple SOP systems are being used, you need BI reporting tools to correlate the information obtained from different software systems and mine for more details. The ERP service provider usually provides integration at a cost. It is expensive and depends on the scope of work. Example. Are these just summaries? Simple recording to ERP to capture by the financial statement? It depends on how extensive the integration of information will determine the cost. Eventually, these systems will have new versions. Even ERP will upgrade each year. It is advisable for customers to do upgrades for security reasons and to utilize new features that will help improve productivity. Since these are multiple systems, the failure rate is high every time you upgrade your ERP and the chances of two-way integration will likely fail. They will end up paying your provider for a successful integration attempt, or worse, manually access this information, which will take a lot of work and questionable data credibility. When an upgrade happens on the digital commerce side, it will likely affect the effectiveness of integration and will likely fail in the end. In short, upgrades of systems from different software resources impact the integration process. It is messy, costly, and likely to fail. 
ideally, the way to address this would be Acumatica with financing dimensions. You have your ERP and systems on the operation side. All the systems explained above about financial dimensions are already there and attach your digital platforms to the ERP system. And it's just like talking to one system. It's easier to maintain, easier to train users, cost-effective. These are the three factors that we have identified, and we can address these challenges that any conglomerate is currently facing. Axel Tech offers a wide range of vertical solutions in various industries that enhance your Acumatica experience. Axel Tech, accelerating digital transformation. Brian, you may now share your slides. Can you confirm if you can see my screen? Yes. Thanks. Perfect. Thanks a lot. All right. Uh, good afternoon, everyone in the Philippines. Uh, as Jason mentioned earlier, uh, my name is Shine Matthew. I manage the channel for Acumetica across Philippines, Singapore, Malaysia, India, India, Taiwan, and Hong Kong. It's quite a mouthful. There's got a lot of countries there. But uh, rest assured, you know, I, I focus a lot on the Philippines, uh, which is our biggest market in Asia. And definitely, I collaborate quite a lot with Infosoft team, who is one of our biggest partners in Asia as well. Um, so uh, the video that you saw, saw earlier pretty much encapsulates exactly what uh, Acumetica is about and how partners like Axel Tech and Infosoft uh, and us, we work together to add more and more solutions on the framework that Acumetica has got. So I'll run through a little bit about Acumetica, uh, a little bit about the company itself, and uh, a, a brief overview of the solution uh, as well before we move to the next session where they go where they show a demo itself uh, digital transformation has has become a requirement uh, it's uh, it's it's something that most companies are already thinking about or already embarking on this journey at the moment the reason is because uh, we have to be a resilient business. How do we become, become resilient in different scenarios, in different situations? We saw this in the last two years during the economic downturn related to the pandemic. Uh, companies that have to keep on running their business had a lot of challenges. The reason is because the system that they're using did not allow them to run their daily business during a lockdown. And this is where Acumetica was always been there to help companies uh, such as uh, when, when this sort of situation ar arose, where a lot of companies, especially in the Philippines, in, in fact, reached out to Acumetica where they did not have the technology ready to, you know, counter this problem that they had during the lockdowns. And remote collaboration uh, was one of the key factors of uh, all businesses that was happening during the last few years. And this is where having a solution like cloud ERP, like Acumetica, will actually help the companies to grow as well. So companies that did not grow are growing right now. And on Acumetica, they're growing exponentially. So having a connected business delivered, having integrations already there with multiple systems and remote collaborations. We're working from home is, no, is like a normal thing now. I work from home right now. Uh, like a lot of companies are there which allow uh, half the com half the workforce to work from home. It's actually quite common at the moment. So having a solution to run uh, your business when you're working from home is it's a given now. Uh, running your business on a platform which is future proof is very very crucial as well because you're investing in a solution. It is not just for the now but also for your future growth as well. In terms of you know our a uh, uh, little bit of a marketing perspective, if you look at it. We always look at customer satisfaction. Having an ERP uh, in, and running an ERP in your business is not easy because having a solution and having end users in a company using the system, it's a very, very different thing. Setting it up is one thing, but using it is different. And for us, we always value the fact that our customers are happy using Acumatica. As you can see here in the G2 customer satisfaction quadrant, we are, we are the leaders. Right. The reason one of the, we are the leader when you think about it. The reason is because our customers have ranked us quite high when it came comes to satisfaction. Not only that, when it comes to user sentiment as well, like emotionally, when you think about a company who is going to embark on a project like Acumetica to run your business, uh, we are also ranked quite high in the quadrant because you know the idea behind it is companies are there who think about using a new solution are always hesitant in the first place because of the project timeline, 
the the challenge that it faced because you have your users who need to get used to the new system. These are quite common, right? And and it's not something that is unique. It's it's very very usual to see that in these kind of uh, situations. But in Akimerica's case, it's quite easy. They be made it a little bit more easy. The journey has been made more easy as well. In terms of IDC, when you look at market uh, market research, in terms of mid size to large size companies, you know we are also being highly re highly uh, reviewed and highly put in the in this kind of graph as you can see here. So as an acknowledged both leader, right in ERP, we have been cut across quite a lot of uh, analysts where they do the research and they find out from customer perspective perspective as well how Acumerica is ranked uh, in the space of ERP products. We are a global company. Uh, our head office is in Seattle in Washington. Uh, though we are an American company, we are owned by a private equity company in Sweden, uh, which is called EQT. So EQT is the sixth largest private equity company in the world, and they own us 100%. So I, I always like to joke, we are like a Swedish American company, if you think about it. But at the end of the day, the idea behind it is uh, the, having a private equity company backing Acumerica is one of the best, uh, you know, moves that happened for us because there's a lot of financial backing that is happening. We are growing exponentially. Our workforce is also growing like crazy. So it's like having that uh, kind of organizational back uh, strength is quite crucial as well. When you think about having an, uh, when you decide about an ERP, you need to think about those things, right? That's how it works. We are spread across the globe, as you can see here. Uh, we have offices in Thailand, we in Vietnam, uh, in Sri Lanka as well. We have in Sri Lanka. In fact, we have a big office right now. We are growing like uh, a lot. We have, in fact, the last count that I checked was around 80 or 100 at the moment. And this is over a period of one to two years. In addition to having a reseller business like what we work with Infosoft, um, we also have what we call an OEM business. What it means is that a lot of companies out there who do not have an ERP as part of their product portfolio, but they would want to sell that to the or provide this to the end customers. So one example would be MYOB. So if there are accounting people around in the audience right now, if you know there's a lot of uh, companies that are there, products that are there, which accountants know about, which is MYOB uh, accounting software, you have, uh, uh, you know, uh, you have a lot of uh, smaller solutions like MYOB out there. And, MYOB does not have an ERP on its own. And when they decided they want to embark on an ERP solution, they decided to white label Acumerica as MYOB Advanced Edition. So very exclusive for Australia and New Zealand. So if you have, if you know any companies that are using MYOB Advanced Edition, it's in fact Acumerica, which is a, which has been white labeled by an MYOB. Similar to that, we have Sensoft, GR Sensoft, which is in Malaysia, is a public listed company in Malaysia where their primary focus is providing applic business application solutions to the government sector, which is so the Malaysian government, uh, the solution that they use is Sensof, and it's actually Acumerica, right? So same, similar to MYOB, they did not want to continue using an old solution that they had. So they, they invest in Acumerica's and, uh, so platform, and they are selling this as Sensof GRP 9.0, which is government resource planning for the Malaysian government sector. Now, like how, like how Jason and the team have mentioned, Infosoft is a reseller of Acumerica, uh, a gold certified, in fact, uh, the reseller in Philippines. Uh, so like that, we have similarly, we have around 350 plus resellers globally. In addition to reseller and OEM, we have what we call the ISV, which is the independent software vendor, which is around, we are around 270 plus uh, globally. And this is where Infosoft is quite uh, different from any other reseller in Asia because they are also an ISV partner of Acumerica, which is through their company called Excel Tech. And, and you have already seen the video earlier where they showcase the multiple ISV products which are developed on Acumerica's platform itself. Uh, so as you can see here, our ISV ecosystem is quite big. Uh, as you can see, we have our red, which is re real estate dimensions, which is an ISV product of uh, Excel Tech Infosoft. Uh, so we have quite a lot. And one good thing about this is that you know, as a company that you have, you're getting into Acumerica, it doesn't stop you from just using an ERP solution on its own, but you can expand the usage by incorporating like add-on solutions from like how you have from Excel Tech. And also similar to that, there are a lot of other products out there which you can add on top of Acumerica. What, what are the differentiators in Acumerica? The idea behind it is about having 
a future-proof platform. I mentioned this earlier. When you invest in something, you need to think about not just right now, but also for what this platform is giving you for your future as well. What is the functionalities that are there? Is it the best in class? This is where our differentiators come in. And the third thing, and this is where we are very, very different from any of the ERP, uh, ERP vendors out there in the market, that how we, Acumerica, can incorporate ethical business practices. And as a company that is using Acumerica, how are you secure and how you are protected by those by an ERP that you're using as well. And these are the things that we always keep in mind. How ethical can we be in our business? Be having a future-proof platform is just not about having the platform, but also thinking about integrating with third-party solutions as well. We cannot be as, as a, a solution provider if you as an organization want to use other solutions for your organization. One classic example would be Office 365. Many companies are using Outlook for their emails, right? And it's isn't it easier when you have Outlook emails linked to ERP so that you can have information and notes that you can relatively sync to everything that is there in Acumerica. And you don't need to do it manually. This is where Acumerica is always thinking about, like to expand this integration quite a lot because we feel as a company, you need to use not just an ERP, but also other solutions to manage your business. Another example would be DocuSign and Adobe Sign, as you can see here on the lower right-hand side, where organizations right now are moving away from paper, uh, manual paper signing kind of uh, options, where they're thinking about how to make it seamless, where you want to send out contracts uh, using your system, and it's going to be through electronic. And you want to get signatures done. In Acumerica, we have the connectors only for DocuSign, Adobe Sign. Uh, so if you want to make use of it, it's very easy. It's free to use, in fact, the connector. So it's available. And similarly, to, similar to that, we have quite a few other integrations, like as you can see here. This is just a small example. There's much more than this, uh, but these are the more important ones just to showcase on the slide. In terms of accessibility, the platform needs to be very, very robust because as I said earlier, having remote collaboration um, is good to hear, but if you can't use it, it's, it's difficult. So when you have an organization and your company's workforce is using having a hybrid model of working environment, uh, accessing the system from anywhere and on any device uh, is very, very crucial. And this is where Acumerica comes from, where we feel that Companies should not be limited by what device that they can use to use the same solution. And this is where Acumerica's uh, browser-based uh, system uh, allows that to happen. Not only that, we are platform agnostic when it comes to if it's iOS or Android devices. So you can use either phone or either tablet uh, when it comes to using Acumerica apps. In terms of functionality and uh, how it works, for us, we believe having a connected cross-flow of all modules in Acumerica is the way how companies should be benefited. And how it works is that when you look at the base modules of Acumerica, it comes with financials, inventory, project, customer, customer management, which is CRM, and then field service or service management. When you, think, when you look at the slide, most people think, okay, this is very similar to what another, what another ERP would be doing or providing uh, to you. But the difference came about as few many years ago when we started moving away from the generic kind of ERP and moving towards a more of an industry vertical focus where we understood that customers are all different. The way customers do business are very different. A construction company is remarkably, remarkably very different from way how a retail commerce or a distribution company does their business. And this is where we are strength lies in, where we feel as a company who is doing construction should go for the construction edition because that is what it's catered for them. Similarly, a manufacturing company has to go for a manufacturing edition because the modules that are there associated with manufacturing are already included, right? And this is where our biggest differentiator comes in, where we companies think in terms of specific ways of business processes that are there and already catered for in each of these editions that are available in Acumerica. So in terms of um, Acumerica's compliance, you know, it's uh, quite important because we are a cloud ERP primarily. And uh, like what I mentioned earlier, Philippines is our biggest market in Asia. And I think around 90% or more of our customers in Philippines are on Acumerica cloud. 
uh, that's the best beauty of our Philippines because uh, as a market, Philippines has always been very ahead in terms of adopting new technologies. Compared to the other markets that we have, like Singapore, Malaysia, 95, I think more than 95% of our customers in Philippines are on cloud and they understand the value of it. But we have to also do our due part because we need to be in compliance as well. So for example, like, you know, being on cloud, we are audited. So and this is where SOC type one and two is very important. As a company, you are reassured, you need to be reassured that our solution running on public cloud is secure and it is in line with all the compliance that are there yeah, in the market. Earlier, I mentioned about ethical business practice. We believe as a customer who is using Acumerica have rights as well. It is not just about being a citizen of a country. You know, you know your rights. Being an employee of a company, you know what your rights are. Being a customer of Acumerica, also you have some rights. You have these rights as well. And these rights are very simplified in the 10 points. I won't run, run through all of them, but the idea behind it, the gist of it is that you know, as a company, you understand what your rights are, and it's very, very easy to understand. It's very transparent as well. And this is where we are coming from, where we feel that a company should be should be trusting their vendor, right? And they should not be, you know, should not be confused with all the muddled terms which are there in a legal document, but have to be consistent the way that what we are providing is what you're getting as well, right? It's a two-way thing. In terms of deployment options, you know, I love to talk about cloud always because it's a primary offering. Uh, but companies are there which are who who do not who cannot be on maybe public cloud and they need to maybe be on a private cloud because of maybe compliance or restrictions. You know, it's there. But I think in the Philippines it's quite it's not much of a problem anymore because even the financial institutions are now allowed to be on public cloud. It's already been approved, right? So um it, but there are cases where you still need to have that option and Acumerica still has that. Right, companies that need to go on private cloud can do it. And the beauty of this is that the version running on the public cloud and the private cloud are exactly the same. There's no difference between them. So there are situations where uh, I know a few customers who go on private cloud initially, after a few years realize that ah, it's, it's a hassle running this all on my own. I don't want to manage my servers. I don't want to deal with this uh, upgrades and all the associated things that come with it. I want to move everything to public cloud of Acumerica, and that is possible as well. As a company, when you're using one solution, one deployment option is flexible. You can move to the other option as well, All right, That is possible. In terms of uh, licensing, it was mentioned in the video earlier, which it, it explained quite well. In fact, I don't want to go too much into it because it's it, it did a very good job of explaining it as well. Where our idea behind behind this is more of uh, as an organization, you no, you should not be limited by user-based licensing. You have maybe 20 or 30 or 40 users in the company. The problem is that when you think about it and you think about getting the ERP, you start always thinking in cost terms the number of people that you have who need to use an ERP. That is not the whole point of an ERP. ERP's main uh, you know, benefit is when all your end users should use it and should not be limited from using it. And so a lot of companies I've faced when early in another ERP that I used to work in, where when you ask how many users you have and a company always responds, not the whole truth because they don't, they feel that if they say the number of actual users they have, the price goes up. In Acumenica, it is not that. We don't actually track, nor do we care about how many users you have in your organization. We believe in terms of end users should not be limited and it should be unlimited usage. And it should be based on how much you're consuming of Acumerica that your licensing should be. And that's how it works. All right. And the beauty of this, it allows you to open up the system to third parties as well, because there is no end user licensing. So if you are an organization who is, let's assume, selling electrical appliances and you have customers who are buying those appliances and who are warranties and you want to give them access to a support case portal where you want to make sure they get tracking their warranties, they can report problems or issues. If you're using a regular ERP and you open like this, you need to buy licenses with each and every customer license users they have. In Acumenica case, there's no need because we are unlimited users, so you don't have to even worry about that. This is just one small example of how having unlimited users uh, benefits you as an organization. In terms of support, you know, we, we always believe our partners are the best support. The reason is because uh, as a company, 
who is getting a partner like Infosoft implementing Acumetica for you, they know exactly what your business is all about because they are in the front line. They are talking to you. They have spoken to all your team members, each and every department to understand the whole idea of how it's working right now and what consulting advice they can offer to improve it. And this is where uh, having a first line of support from Acumetica reseller like Infosoft is crucial. Over and above this, as a customer, when you are subscribing to Acumetica's uh, licensing, you can also directly contact Acumetica. And it is included as part of your license subscription as well. There's no additional fee for it. So the beauty of it is that in addition to you know, Infosoft being your partner support, you also have Acumetica direct support uh, if you need it. In terms of training, this is one very, very crucial element. Um, one of the biggest challenges that many companies face when they have an ERP implementation being done is that there is a core team in your company who is involved in the project. They are there from the beginning until the end, go live is done, you start using the system. Unfortunately, people move, right? They move on to different companies. Uh, so when that happens, the issue comes up when you have an end user who learned about Acumetica from your vendor, but then they moved on and you need to train new people. The problem that comes up with this is that if you understand enough to do the training again for new users, or you need to keep on asking Infosoft always to come back, guys, you need to come and train the new people again. We want to keep this more and more flexible for our customer. We want to provide these kind of training where it is available to you for free. And whatever you need to learn is available online as an open university, as you can see here. The idea behind it is that there are less dependency on a reseller to keep on you know, training you again and again, where you can do it all on your own. This online or open university, the courses are exactly the same that a partner like Infosoft would do or take. They're exactly the same. The only difference being Infosoft can get certifications, but not on this. That's the only difference. But it, what it means is that it allows you to be more self-sufficient, right? And you are more enabled on your own. For us, commitment to success is very, very important. As I mentioned earlier, so customer satisfaction is a very, very key factor for us. And one of the things that we always check in terms of scoring is uh, net promoter score. What it means is that how likely is it a uh, Acumetica customer who's using Acumetica is a will actually promote or even refer us to another company that they know. And for us is we are very ranked quite high. As you can see, we are plus 32. Industry standard is around plus 25 to 27. So we are quite high. In fact, Infosoft is a very good example of a partner whose customers are actually referring them to other companies. Right. They have a lot like that. Not only that, in terms of satisfaction, you know, our support, you know, as you have seen there, right? We have partner support, but also Acumetica support. In terms of our satisfaction score is we are ranked quite high when it comes to this. It's like 97% company customers like uh, the, the way that partners of Acumetica support them and also how Acumetica supports them as well. And in a nutshell, just to just to, you know close it off, we are the fastest growing cloud ERP company, period. Right. So we have been growing like clockwork uh, since the time we began. And we have been growing so high is that it's the reason why a private equity company acquired us a few years ago because of our growth trajectory. And finally, to end with, we have around 8,000 plus customers worldwide. This number is quite outdated because it's since April. So I'm assuming it's around the 9,000 mark already, if I'm not wrong. Uh, I don't know the final number, but it should be around that then. All right, that's it from my side. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Shane. Um, we'll proceed with uh, Sheena's uh, demo. Thank you. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Today, I will be doing a high-level walkthrough of financing dimensions in Acumatica. So when you log into Acumatica, the first thing you will see is what we call the dashboard. Acumatica dashboards are a convenient way to display essential data so you can tell at a glance what you need to know. With Acumatica ERP dashboards, you can monitor current financial, operational, and organizational information and analyze real-time trends and KPIs that relate to your job. The great thing about dashboards is that you can personalize it without the need for intricate technical expertise. You can add charts, graphs, depending on how you want your dashboard to look like. Here we have the dashboard of a controller. 
As a controller, I have access to accounts receivable and accounts payable. Hence, I can see here my receivables and payables that are overdue, as well as the amount of cash I have on hand and the amount of cash I need in the next 30 days to settle my short-term obligations. All right, so this is the workspace for financing dimensions. We have here different transactions, profiles, processes, inquiries, printed forms, and reports. With FINE, there are two types. With FINE, there are two financing types that we can make use of. These are item financing and cash financing. Let's begin our discussion with item financing. Item financing is a type of contract entered into wherein an item, a property, equipment, vehicle, etc. is permitted to be financed. The debtor in turn has to repay the amount of money loaned for the financed item within a certain term. Cash financing basically has the same concept, except that there is no item involved. With both types of financing, you can generate a schedule for repayment. The amortization schedule that you see here is comprehensible as it clearly shows different columns for the due date, the principal, the interest, and etc. More importantly, you can see here the balance each time the amortization due is paid by the customer or the debtor. In fact, we added this paid column for you to easily monitor the payments for this loan financing document. In the system, you will also see many different tabs that hold significant information. Take the collateral details tab, for example. Here, you can add the collateral items associated with this loan. The co-maker details tab shows the co-makers of this loan, and you can add helpful information to contact them, such as address and mobile number. The payments tab also displays all the payments made by the customer pertaining to the specific loan making the task of monitoring such way easier. The surcharges tab shows surcharges calculated for this load in the event of delinquency. This also relates to the demand letter monitoring tab that displays the number of demand letters sent out to the customer for non-payment. This is such a vital information needed by most financing companies. And of course, we have the financial details tab. Another great thing about FIND is that it is seamlessly integrated to the finance module of Acumatica. This means that pro forma accounting entries are automatically generated by the system without having to record them separately, thereby reducing the probability of making errors in encoding. And this is such a great help to anyone who works in the accounting department. Another great feature in FIND is what we call the delinquent account summary. The screen enables you to monitor contracts that are already delinquent, including the number of days that they are overdue. And you can also see here the demand letter level of each contract. In the system, we have three levels of demand. The first one is the collection notice. The second one is the final demand. And the third one is a cancellation of the contract or repossession. These letters can be printed right from the system. So if you have a template for your demand letter, that can be easily customized. Now, as I mentioned earlier, when demand has reached the third level, then you can create a repossession document in Acumatica. In this repossession document, you can see the details of the loan, such as the loan amount and the loan balance, as well as the collateral details and the appraised amount of the redeemed collateral. Now, the next thing I'd like to show you is the customer ledger inquiry page. This screen and find enables you to audit a customer's transaction history and determine the outstanding balance of a customer with ease. So if a customer ever goes to your office inquiring about his or her loan, it's very easy for you to show that customer's transaction history, complete with the date when the payment was made, the amount allotted to the principal, interest, and etc. Now we move on to the AP financing. The perspective here is that we are loaning a certain amount of money, perhaps from an individual or organization. So we have the amortization schedule here, the financial details tab, the bills tab, and the payments tab. Bills are technically your AP documents related to this AP loan. When these bills are paid, the payment tab is updated with such record. We also have the releasing history because in the system, there are two types 
of relief. The first one is one time, which means that the loan is given out one time. And it could also be staggered, which means that the loan is given out in tranches. Of course, we have approvals for this loan financing document. And this is how it looks like as the approver. I could see here all transactions that are pending my approval. This can also be accessed through your mobile devices or any devices that are linked or connected to the internet. A financing company provides economic capital and finances are managed carefully to ensure uninterrupted business activity, access to capital, and the ability to leverage opportunities as they arise. The life cycle model of financing goes through various stages from customer communications, structuring depending on financial needs, it has two options, inventory sales financing and collateral based loan financing, collections, and completion monitoring. Given that financing is a capital intensive, Without an integrated earpiece system, they face several challenges. Acumatica with financing dimensions, an industry-specific solutions with front office functionalities designed for rapid integration, long-term efficiency, and scalability custom-fitted the financing processes. Let's start with sales and marketing will run an advertising campaign to generate leads using the CRM. They will assess marketing initiatives by comparing the number of leads generated to the cost of the campaign. From CRM data, the sales team will nurture all potential leads and create financing program proposals and contract. Once converted as an opportunity, it will automatically create financing computation based on the loanable amount the customer prefers. Revolutionize your customer journey management so you can tailor your processes to encourage greater conversions and satisfaction. Acumatica with financing dimensions accelerates the sales management process, review customer information, monitoring of financing transactions, and loans approvals. Once the buyer pursues the loan application, financing companies define the financing schemes such as payment method, interest rates, and due payment dates of the acquired assets. You can pick a specific loan product with the best interest rates and various terms to afford the monthly payments using FINE. Easily specify the down payment percentage and amortization type with specific transactions ID without wasting customer time. Acumatica with Financing Dimensions After creating a financing application, you will be redirected to the financing application form. Classify the salesperson, the CI personnel, and the tax zones involved. Have the options to approve and reject the application for release. Acumatica with Find allows you to address all inventory sales financing related transactions from contract signing, processing sales orders, and performing customers and vendor returns to receiving purchased items to inventory. Acumatica with Find lets you select the amortization type, terms, and interest repayment type for a specific asset. Once the collateral details are filled out and the CI required documents are checked, you can proceed to the cash financing document. From this, you can manage inventory with multiple units of measure and fixed assets from acquisition to disposal for updated reporting and analysis. Financing companies manage credit limits from the customers, perform collection activities, and control the flow of sales orders through the posting method based on credit pools created. Under the financing application form, we can see the amortization schedule and the payments for each period with reference numbers and the customer request history. You can prepare demand letter when customers cannot pay under delinquent accounts. Select a specific transaction to process the surcharge. Enhance your credit and collection activities with financing dimensions.
simplify financial management requirements to efficiently address customer concerns with financial difficulty meeting their obligations, including requests, reclaiming of purchases, and delinquent accounts. You can have an overview of all of its transaction history through customer ID. Acumatica would find fracture accounts receivables and payables from the vendor to avoid duplicate payments, inaccurate invoices, inefficient processes, or late payments with accuracy and promptness. Maintain a complete audit trail of all financing transactions throughout your financial operations. Acumatica with Financing Dimensions. Streamline the financing facets, delivering automation without complexity, compliance without rigidity, and continuous improvement without unpredictability. Within Acumatica, you can find financing dimensions where you can utilize all of the front office functionality required for your operations such as loan management for inventory sales financing or collateral-based loans financing, ROPOAM loans payable management. All of the systems for financing dimensions are already in place. You can connect your digital platform to the ERP systems as if they were one system. It's easier to maintain, easier to train users, and cost-effective. Gain real-time insights and visibility into all aspects of your company from revenue and profit margins to product quality and customer satisfaction so you can make better decisions faster from any location. Lead with visibility and vision. Acumatica with financing dimensions. Finance leaders need a financial management solution that provides 24-7 access to accurate real-time information. You need to analyze and report on the financial health of your financing business with simple-to-use tools that speed the process. Streamline your financial management. Acumatica with Financing Dimensions Operations leaders need a real-time visibility into all aspects of your organization. Make a strategic decision faster and empower your whole team to keep your operations running smoothly. Create a better, faster, and more effective operation. Acumatica with Financing Dimensions IT leaders need an ERP that helps streamline IT management so you can do more with less and keep your organization on the cutting edge. Simplify the business side of information technology. Acumatica with Financing Dimensions Acumatica is the only major global ERP player that has no per-user fees. Our flexible deployment and modern growth-friendly licensing puts customers first and are ready to scale with your changing needs. All employees can now use your ERP system and digitally transform your organization. Tailored to your needs and ready to transform with your growing business. A born-in-the-cloud platform designed to integrate how you work with technology that connects your business across time and distance. Designed for the way businesses operate today and in the future. Acumatica with Financing Dimensions. Thank you very much. Um, I think with that, we will now entertain the questions. And um, we have plenty here, but probably in the interest of time, we will uh, entertain um, a handful of your questions. So first, here is that um, besides the unlimited user, is there a real advantage over established ERP? I think this question goes for Shine. Would you like to elucidate further? Hi, can you hear me? Yeah. Hi. All right. Uh, like what? Like what uh, we mentioned earlier, right? When it comes to not just user-based licensing, we are also talking about the fact that Acumatica has very specific industry vertical-based editions. Uh, the classic example would be construction here. Um, not many ERPs have uh, an, a solution for construction industry. It's very, very specific. Uh, it's very niche. It's very different from the way how another enterprise or company would do because construction includes a lot of things like project accounting, which is specific to it, retainage, cost codes, compliance. Uh, when it comes to when it comes to also subcontracting, like when you have a construction, you have a lot of subcontract work going on. Most most ERP solutions don't have that as part of their project management or project accounting pool. Um, so this is one example of how we are a little bit different when it comes to manufacturing. Uh, the classic example being, you know, we have a lot of add-on modules in manufacturing edition, very specific to it, like uh, advanced planning and scheduling, 
estimating product configurator, machine data collection. When you look at, when you compare to any other, other ERP like a tier like Microsoft BC or SAP B1, you will not find this uh, as part of the uh, solution because it's very, very specific. And we keep on adding very feature rich modules when every release comes out in Acumerica. So it's not just like by edition, uh, not just a generic edition, but by edition, we actually focus on it and we add more and more features every year. I hope that answers the question. Okay, thank you, Shine. I think um, we can still entertain one more question. Um, we have plenty here. Um, I'll choose another one. This is from Metro Manila. Is Acumatica with Find accessible on other devices such as tablets and phones? Um, Sheena, would you like to further add? Yes, the sir. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Acumatica can be accessed to your uh, through your mobile devices just as long as you could connect to the internet. Yes, you can. All right. Um, I think one last in the interest of time. So um, I'll choose an another question here. Is financing dimensions flexible in handling different loan customer requirements? I think this also goes for Yushina. Would you like to handle that? Okay, if, if, if I may ask her, uh, what, uh, what are the exact requirements I'd, li I'd like to know before I answer the question? Different loan requirements, probably the for 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 you to call this for cash financing requirements. Ah, okay. If, if you uh, mean, ma'am, sir, uh, requirements um for submission to be able for to, the customer. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, sir. To be able to record requirements from the customer, yes, we can do that. In fact, we have a tab for requirements wherein you could attach files, um, scan documents, so that when you access Acumatica, you can also see them there. All right. Okay, I think that's all for our question and answers now. Thank you, Shine and uh, Sheena. So before we wrap, wrap, we wrap up, we would like to invite everyone, by the way, to Acumatica Asia Roadshow 2022. If you happen to be in one of these great cities in Asia, please do join us and kindly coordinate with your respective sales consultant for more information. And also lastly, however, if you still have some clarifications or concerns, you may reach us through marketing at infosoft.com.ph. You may also call us via landline at 8866-8080 or visit our website at www.infosoft.com.ph. Don't forget to like our page on Facebook and LinkedIn, Infosoft Consulting Corporation. So that concludes our Lunch and Learn event. Thank you, everyone, and we appreciate you being here. Until our next Lunch and Learn. Bye.